Have the benefits of collagen peptides for your skin finally been proven? Well, a new study is out that tells us everything we need to know, and I'm gonna share all of it with you in today's video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's really good to see you. Today, we are gonna be talking about a new study that just came out two months ago, almost three months ago, that talks about the efficacy from this scientific study. Now, many people, including some of my colleagues, even some professionals here on YouTube, have poo-pooed, have diminished, had deemed taking collagen peptides as a supplement as gimmicky, ineffective, a waste of money, and just, well, not worth it. And now they are singing a different tune with this latest study. Now, to be fair to everyone, I get it. When it comes to skincare products, formulas, and especially supplements, which are very, very loosely regulated, almost not regulated at all by the FDA, I get why someone would be wary of any promised results. I myself am one of the biggest skeptics of everything, that's why I test out so much stuff, but there are few things on the side of supplementation in the diet that have been studied as much as collagen peptides. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel and are not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson. I'm a skincare expert. I've been doing this stuff for 36 years, here to help people find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet, and not do them more harm than good. So if this is the kind of material you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Now, this recent study that just came out is one of many, many, many studies that have been done on the efficacy of collagen peptides for skin. In this randomized double-blind study, 100 participants were taken and divided in half, so 50 and 50. 50 got the collagen peptides and 50 got a placebo. Now, during this 12-week study, the researchers measured several components, factors, if you will, including wrinkle height, wrinkle depth, wrinkle volume, skin elasticity, skin hydration, and also how that related to trans-epidermal water loss. That's where water evaporates out of your skin into the air. Overall, elasticity and firmness and elastic recovery to actual pressure on the skin, which is when we say a sheet wrinkle, it also has to do with dynamic wrinkles, the ones that form around the eyes, when you smile, forehead lines, things like that. They measured how quickly the skin actually recovers from those things. So what were the results? Well, after 12 weeks, the 10 grade crow's feet photo scale score, eye wrinkle volume and skin roughness parameters, wrinkle height and depth, elasticity, elastic skin recovery to pressure and skin Skin hydration as it relates to transepidermal water loss, all were significantly improved in the folks who got the collagen peptides in their diet versus the ones that received the placebo, which showed no difference. What's also interesting in the study is that there were no side effects or adverse effects in the group that took the collagen peptides. The study clearly shows that oral supplementation with collagen peptides can really make a huge difference in the health, resiliency, and the visible signs of aging on your skin. Now, those of you who follow me on the channel may recall that a year and a half or so ago, I did an eight-week test on my own of taking collagen peptide supplements and reported back on my own personal experience with them. Of course, I did see some improvement in hair growth, nail growth, but those were not issues that I really had already. What I really noticed a difference in was skin hydration and also an improvement in overall firmness and texture. But the big thing for me was that dry skin issue because I have always suffered from itchy dry skin on my back. I'm known for scratching my back in elevators on fence posts, I'm the guy with the big wooden spoon. Since I've been taking collagen peptides, all of this time I have not had that issue. So let's quickly talk about what collagen peptides are exactly and what type are good for you. And then I'm gonna share with you the supplement that I take and I'll be putting a link down below in the video description box so that you can go and read about the study itself for yourself and also take a look at the supplements that I recommend and use myself. Collagen peptides are not physical collagen. So this is not the collagen that you hear about in face creams or lotions. These are actual amino acids. They are the building blocks, proteins, if you will, that your body uses to create collagen. And there are a myriad different types of collagen peptides, and some of them kind of cross over for different areas of the body, such as organ health, brain tissue health, bone and joint health, and of course, helping to improve elastin and collagen production in the skin tissue. The most common peptides are type one collagen. That's about 90% of the collagen in your body. Type two collagen peptides, which are generally found in your joints and cartilage. And type three collagen peptides, which are found in the skin, blood vessels, and seem to play one of the largest roles in healthy aging. Then there is type five collagen, which is the one that we see in supplements for hair and nail growth. Most collagen supplements today contain a mixture of 
one or all of these types of collagen peptides. Obviously, there are different ways to get these amino acid proteins into your diet. Some of them can come from foods, but what we have found is supplementation with a basic mixture of 19 amino acids does do the trick for skin, hair, and nails, especially when it comes to aging of the skin, reducing that inflammation and helping skin retain all important moisture. Now, the collagen peptides that I took during my test and still take are the ones by Vital Proteins. These are hydrolyzed collagen peptides. They also come in a gummy form, which I use both because I travel a lot and the gummies travel very well with me. But there are many brands out on the market today that have a similar mix of collagen peptides in them. Now again, I will put a link to this product down below in the video description box so you guys can check that out when we're done. And why it's important to consider supplementation outside of the study is that collagen peptides are produced less and less in the body as we get older. So it is something that your body is able to process and use. So these building block proteins are super important because as we get older, collagen production tends to slow down. And this is a super easy way. And now we see an effective way to support that collagen production as we get older. Who doesn't want more skin elasticity and firmness and less fine lines and wrinkles? I don't know about you, but I do. So there you have it, a brand new study just out proving the positive effects of taking collagen peptides in your diet like I do. And for even more ways to roll back the clock on skin and body aging, please be sure and check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I appreciate you. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.